Shannon Sizzle and Stampers. Um, today I'm coming to you to present some of our COVID-19 give back pieces and cards. And I want to talk a little bit about Stampin' Up's day of service. So each year, Stampin' Up does something really cool. They um, globally, as an employer base, the employees of Stampin' Up that work out of Utah and at our different facilities across the world gather together and they do something that's charity oriented. So sometimes it's been helping build buildings, sometimes it's been collecting school supplies, sometimes it's been um, providing services of, of various natures throughout many years. So this year, because of COVID-19, as you can imagine, there are several restrictions that are in place not allowing that to happen. So. Stampin' Up! What they decided to do is they have put together a day of service that everyone is eligible to participate in. So the first thing that you are going to need are the sentiments from the COVID-19 Give Back PDF download. That's only $12 US. I have included the link below in the description of the video so you can link in there and get it. You can choose who that full $12 is going to go to between two different uh, relief agencies. But in the download, you can see uh, mine, is, mine is all in pieces at this point. I've had mine a while and I've been using it. I've made, um, I made little cards for about 40 coworkers. I've sent them to my family and friends. I've done some other projects on here for you guys, which you can see in some different video um, here on YouTube. And I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. That way, every time that I do put up a new video, you will see and get a little notification um, bell come to you. Also, make sure that you like it and put some comments in there and I'll try to get back to you. But there's all kinds of these fun little sayings like, I wish, wishing I was in quarantine with you. It's your birthday, let's digitally party. There's one about a quarantini. Oh yeah, this is it. Let me see if I can get them up here laying. Have another quarantini. It's like a normal martini, but you drink it at home alone. I don't drink, but for those that do, it's a fun, fun little card. All kinds of things. And you're going to see some more of these saints as we go along. But this day of service was built around the COVID-19 give back. So Stampin' Up! paid those same fees for every employee that is participating in this that will go to that charity uh, relief agencies. So you will need those. The other cool thing that they've done, I'm gonna sit, let me set these a little bit further aside. The other cool thing that they've done is they have provided a template because the idea behind this day of service on cards was for each employee to have an hour and to be able to make several cards. So all you need at home, I will attach the download link as well to download this instruction sheet that was created by our Stampin' Up! graphic team. And as you can see, this first piece is a very important template. This is going to tell you how to cut your 12 by 12 DSP. Now, I am using the Follow Your Art Suite DSP. It is my product um, of the week, and so I'm trying to feature that. Plus, it's a fun, totally fun, cute suite. In fact, I'm out, you'll see I'm out of some of the embellishment pieces already. Um, but you can use any designer series paper, otherwise known as AKA DSP, you can use any designer series paper that you have on hand. Don't let that limit you. You don't have to have the follow your art. You can use whatever you have. The template on the download is the most important piece that you're gonna need. It's going to tell you how to cut your paper. So once you've downloaded that, you're going to end up cutting your paper and you will end up with several, a bit, a pretty big stack. This is from six pieces of 12 by 12 designer series paper, which is half of one package. Okay. When you do, if you use the half of a package, you should end up with enough designer series paper with this template to make at least 40 cards. Most of them will you be using this uh, full, this full little five by um, three and three quarter piece, but you'll see. You're also going to end up with a stack of pieces that are two by three inches. So like this, 
So you'll each of the cards of this will take two of these. So you'll get several cards out of that, but not quite as many as the big one. And then you're going to have a few little tiny strips that are three and a quarter inch by five inches. And you really will only be able to make about two of the strip cards with this template, okay? So on your instruction sheet from Stampin' Up, it's going to tell you how the card base is to be folded. For these cards, they have all been cut to that standard card base where it is, uh, I believe it is five and a half by eight and a half, okay? So you fold that in half, always in my, in my world with my sister and stuff, that's hamburger style. So all of your card bases are folded this style for, this, for these projects. So down here, they give you some tips. They give you four different cards, ideas that use the full front. There's, there's two different ones for that. There's an idea that uses two of the small two by threes, and there's one idea that uses the strips. You'll notice that on each of these, they've actually added and used the Follow Your Art embellishment kit. Now, I've only got my washi tape left from this suite. My embellishment kit, I have long depleted. And now I'm wishing I would have, you know, added another one on. It is still available so far. So anything from the Follow Your Art suite, I highly recommend you get it this week. There are instructions to do that on my Facebook page as well, or you can message me, reach out. Um, there is a host code this month, and that host code is a T the number four G D E H E if you have any problems with that let me know but you can go ahead and put your orders in also several of the things on the follow your art suite are deeply discounted and the embellishment kit is one of them this these four Featured ideas use one of the felt hearts from the embellishment kit. It uses the washi tape, which I do have some of the washi tape. So you can see it comes in a pack of three. I love, of course, the one that has the Stampin' Up! logo, and this is what I have replenished, um, is the washi tape. It has the yellow multi-stripe brush, and then it's got this fun little, fun little sewn uh, hash mark check plus sign patterns in different colors. So that's the washi tape in the group. The paper clip, that is from the embellishment kit and also some twine or thread. Now, in that embellishment kit, you do get some di two different colors of twine. Today, I am also out of that, but I am using the Nature's, uh, oh, I always get on these videos and I forget my uh, product name but the nature's rooted in nature twine, I think is what this is. There are four colors in that pack that you get. These are two of them. This is the, the uh, Mint Macaron and the Grapefruit Grove. I'll be using those two. <clears throat> you also get, I believe it's a Blackberry Bliss or a Razzleberry, and then you get a uh, Crumb Cake twine. But for what I use today, I had to substitute because I'm totally out of the felt pieces and I'm totally out of the clips. So. Don't let that deter you if you don't have that embellishment kit. I'm going to show you my versions of the cards as I created them as close as possible. Now, this is card one, and it features the saying that says, My hands miss feeling moisturized and my heart misses you. Now, if you look back at the suggested template, there's no bow on there. There's a felt heart. Remember I said I didn't have a felt heart. So I went ahead and used the Grapefruit Grove twine to put a twine there, and I am debating about cutting a grapefruit heart uh, from cardstock using the, I have one of the die cuts that have the heart in it, the supporting ribbons, which is also retiring. But the other where, place you could get a heart, small heart, we have several different dies that have small hearts in them. Also, if you have the little puppy dog punch, there's a small heart in that punch that's part of that. So you could add a heart. I don't know that it even needs it, but I, since it says my heart misses you, I thought it would be a nice addition. But I wanted to show that to you without having the felt heart so you could see what that looks like. Okay, the next card that they show is this one. 
which uses the washer hands. And all they've done here is cut it into a rectangle and banner cut that pretty simply. Washi tape, so they're using the yellow uh, multi-stripe brush stroke washi tape to tape across that banner. You do want to leave some of the white showing and that's it. That's all there is to that. Um, the third one, you are going to notice the, the three by twos. I've done mine a little differently. I had already ran out of the saying, we're in this together. I used all those up and I haven't uh, reprinted my download for a third time yet. So I went ahead and used, since we were showing rolls of ribbon on this piece, I used the toilet paper rolls and put let's just roll with it. And the only addition I did was I put some washi type up across the top of that. And then the fourth card is the strip card. And I've pretty much duplicated that. That uses the Met Macaron um, twine versus the twine or Baker's twine that comes in the embellishment kit. There are six different pieces of these strips. So when you cut them out, you get two strips per paper. So when you do six pages, you have 12 strips. And that's where I told you you'll only get to end up making two of the strip cards. So those go to the people you really, really like maybe. Um, a tip when you go to do these strip cards, put your top piece and your bottom piece on first, center those where you want them to go, and then do the next top one layering down, and then the next bottom one layering up, and then the next bottom one layering up, and this top one, use it to fill in so that you've got a neat presentation. These strips do not need to be even, and they are not even on the template. And then it merely is cutting out the words that say thank you for your care and adding a bow with a glue dot. So it's all very, these are all very simple. The cards require nothing but a paper trimmer, or if you don't even have a paper trimmer, you can do this cutting by hand with scissors, um, and a little bit of twine and the washi tape. If you don't have the washi tape, just glue it down and put a bow on there. If you don't have the twine, maybe do some washi tape. If you have buttons as an embellishment, you could use those instead. So just be creative with when it comes to the embellishment part. I thought before I show you in person one card, I would show you, well, I'm going to show you a card, and I have three other cards to show you at the end that I've pre-done. But I want to show you the differences on the card. So I'm going to use, for this one, it's the flip side of the little writing tools. And it's in the orange, but I wanted to use it with the same that says, I changed out of my night pajamas into my day pajamas. And so I kind of like the little stars and the hearts. Now, the other way you could do this card would be to flip it and use two of the small pieces that are the three by twos and you could put them together and then layer your banner piece like so. I tried to pick this one because I thought it might look like a pajama print pattern. This one's on the other side of that, but I didn't like the color combination with my the ink that on the same. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and do it with the large piece. And again, I'm, I use the Snell for this one, but most of the time anymore, I tend to use the Mono Glue. If you do love our Snell, that is a product that is retiring as well. So I suggest not only do you stock up on one or two of your cases, but you stock up on several of the refills. So again, important. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a tiny bit on that banner. And then I'm going to take, while I did not like, oops, while I did not like this pattern with it, I do love the same pattern of the washi tape. And that's because it doesn't show so much of the aqua color. So I'm just going to add, see the difference? This one is a lot more transparent through it. So that's all I'm going to do for that one. And if you want it, you know, you could always, I'm not, a, the grapefruit grow goes pretty well. Let's show you both of those. I'll just put a knot and lay them on so you could see. You could add a grapefruit grove twine. You could add one of the 
one of the mint macaron, I think it will blend into the ink on the lettering and the and the thing. So you could do either one of those. I personally think I'm preferring the Grapefruit Grove if I added anything else to that. But that's all that is, and that card is done. They literally, once you have this 12 by 12 DSP cut, and you can cut two pieces at a time easily with, a, with an average paper trimmer. Once you have those pieces cut, they go together very speedily, very quickly. So let me show you three other super simple versions using the same paper cuts. So on this one, I have Just Breathe, and literally, you may not even be able to see it, it blends in. But this is the yellow print paper that matches the yellow, DS, the, uh, yellow washi tape. And right here, I've just adhered it with the washi tape. I did try it first on the top, but I wasn't a lover of it, so I switched to the sides. And that's all that's on that one. Very simple card to make. The next one is, I did add a little piece of our Bermuda Bay cardstock behind the white. And this one is the I Totally Share My Toilet Paper With You, the color version. And it's Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. I cut that at an angle. So cut that up and then at an angle just to kind of mimic the movement on the toilet paper sheets. This is a piece of the Follow Your Art DSP, a little mint macaron back there, and that's it. Same thing, when I glued it on my Bermuda Bay, then I just cut it and trimmed the two top and bottom at an angle. Super easy. And then the last one, again, uses a tiny bit of the Bermuda Bay. This one uses the piece of designer series paper that has all the writing utensils, the pens, the pencils, the crayons. And on this one, I chose the saying that says, thank you, hero. I cut it long, so it's the same width as my DSP. And same with the Tempting Turquoise. It's the same width as the DSP. And I believe, let me see, that the Tempting Turquoise is about two inches wide, and I believe the white Thank You Hero is one and a half inches. And then this is also on that download, our little um, community health worker. And I just punched him out with a circle punch that is... I Now I don't recall if that's the one inch punch, I believe one inch, otherwise it's the next one up from that. If it's the one inch punch, that's another item that's retiring, so you might wanna grab that on your list as well. I will put all of the links to the items that are used in this kit below, including the ones that I've substituted in, and I'll notate next to them if something is retiring so that you make sure that you can get those for yourself. So once again, this is a super easy kit um, process. I hope that you'll play along it's a way to give service and then once you get these cards done the biggest next most important thing is to give them away so you want to let sh let people know how thankful you are so send a card to maybe your primary care physician or someone if you've been fortunate enough not to have to see someone right now send that and tell them great work this is a, just a totally fun one for with friends the same with just breathe but wear your mask Another one for someone that has helped you. Um, many of you know that I am a cancer survivor. Um, almost one year ago, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. So I've had lots of people into my home over the last 10 to 12 months that have helped me um, through that journey. So that can go for anyone. Thank you for your care of any time. Another one, fun, a coworker, anyone. Wash your hands. I don't know, coworker, a kid maybe, a teenage child. Um, same with this one. Maybe this is someone who lives far away. Maybe it's your spouse. Maybe it is you have a friend. Uh, is, this is especially good if you work in the healthcare facility because those people, uh, I know my friend and fellow demo, Patty, her daughter is a nurse, and I've seen some pictures of her hands. They're just dying from the extreme amount of hand washing they're doing. So hopefully you will um, check this out, click the links, buy the download if you haven't already, and join in, you know, any day. The day of service was yesterday. I chose to post this video today because the other thing I do on Fridays is the chop and create hashtag um, posts. And this is a great, and it's all about using up your designer series paper. And this is an absolutely perfect way to use up that designer series paper. 
We don't want to hoard it and keep it. We want to chop it and create with it and give it away. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Please reach out, leave me some comments, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.